Hello everyone and welcome to Hiveside Casts. My name is Arclight and this is ENSL Season 1 Week 2 between Oldest Gamers and Under Steel Poland. We got Oldest Gamers rushing again, but this time like really rushing. And Under Steel Poland unfortunately all going to the wrong side. Looks like they might be building up a observatory. All these gamers getting a favorable engagement again. Their commander is assisting up towards double. Two marines are dropping OBS and OBS is done. Four skulks. Oh, look at that being sneaky. Oh, that ambush. Oh, that ambush. Four scouts gonna be coming up on base. Insta beacon. They got the infantry portal though. And when you look at it, I think it was worth it because they lost 10 with the beacon. They lost 15 more with the infantry portal. It forced the mines, it forced everything coming out of them. <coughs> now they went for a shade hive, they got the double, <coughs> and the double is pretty much safe, so yeah, I think it was worth it. Now there's germ coming very fast here, and if they go for camo instead of silence, that's gonna be even more into their favor. Ah, uh, they're gonna be doing it again. Look at those skulks being sneaky and picking their fights. Meantime, aliens expanding all over the map. Camo veil complete. Very nice. We do have scans coming from Marine Team. All these gamers being sneaky, very sneaky indeed. Oh, look at plastic, omnoming right on that marine. Yeah, now marines definitely know they went for a shade hive. <coughs> which is not going to be big of a problem because they do have observatory in the main marines managed to get to the subsector skinner waiting for the camo to pop in oh but got unfortunately shot by slayer there Look at Slayer spraying, trying to get a... Oh, a lucky shot again! Skulk's making a huge mistake of using the ground. But a very good play by Slayer there. Random shooting to try to get in some random lucky shots. <laughs> Look at that scan and pipeline. Aliens got to hold that map. They are definitely being greedy about it. Getting the double, getting the subsector, getting the pipeline. And Skinner again. Oh, but there's a scan now. Gets killed. Also, you see what's the good thing when you go shade high? You're for forcing so many scans coming from Marine commander and every scan costs three team rests remember that one so 
Losing those rest hours hurts a lot. I mean, look at that. Marines got in total 200 rests gathered. And what do they have? They can't face tech. They just dropped the armed web, which is not even finished. They got the mines, and they got pretty much nothing else. So, so many of them going into scans, trying to deny aliens those rest hours. And Mr. T gonna be waiting out for the scan. Germ knows he's being hunted. Oh, but another scan. Now, was this really worth it? Where that says that. Now, now. Germ requesting ammo. <coughs> oh, here's the scan. Caucasoid spotted, and Paula gonna be going straight for it. And gets a pistol kill there. To Stroker being smart. You have to keep very good eye on the camo aliens. Nice, nice. And another scan forced. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Trying my best here, but my tr my voice is giving out. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm glad this is the final game for tonight, at least for me. And another scan. Oh my god! So many stuff going into those scans. Those scans pretty much now could have been weapons too by this time. Uh, OAG getting down to 37 rest marker. I'm gonna be dropping another uh, hive and pipe, I think. It's gonna be a one more viable choice than the subsector, which Marines are constantly pushing. Alien's holding out on the on the edge of the Scan range. One Marine goes down to one Skulk with two Marines in the backup. That's never a good thing. Oh! Hugan goes to Axe that Cyst and Axe Plastic in the face there. Plastic gets him, almost gets some mine as well. Should be dropping assist right here to start detonating those mines. Remember, assists cost only one rest, mines cost 15. So we got shade dropped, I think. Oh, a money scan there. Why is that gorge dropping Hydra there? That Hydra has got like nothing on it, the Marines can shoot the Hive from here and that Hydra will not respond. Shotguns are coming for Marines and weapons one as well, they do have phase gate in main. They're trying to get double, which I kinda missed, with another scan forced. To Stroker trying to run away to use that camo to his benefit. Polak will not be pursuing. And Germ finally getting the double back for Marines, at least killing the enemy harvesters there. And aliens up to three arrest nodes again. C12 just finishing. Marines need that rest badly. Nice play by Plastic. 
And Slayer again using the random shots. Look at that. He knows he's being chased. And here comes the Lurk. Do we have a phase get in subsector? We do. Fortunately, it's at the wrong side of the map since the hive is here, as you can see it. Giant arrows, li like that. <laughs> Marines clearing out subsector from cysts. And there we go. Skulks into motion. Oh, nice turn shot from Yugen there. Reflex shotgun into that skulk's face. Pipeline is done and immediately gets researched into Crag Hive, I think. Since we do not see the upgrade. Again, five rest nodes gonna be pumping out for aliens. So we might gonna see that carapace very, very fast on the field. <laughs> Oh, but unfortunately those rest nodes will not pay themselves out. As you know, it takes one minute for a rest node to pay itself out. Because in one minute it takes 60 rests. Pardon me, 10 rests for 60 seconds. So it's one rest every 6 seconds. And that harvester will never pay itself out. Oh, well, in the meantime, we might see a beacon. Beacon. No beacon. No beacon. The skull got chased away by Marines. Oh, did it? Oh my god, Skinner died to a mine. Wait, was that a. No. The, sc the Lurk is still alive. The Skulk sacrificed himself for a mine there. Oh, we got a fast blink coming because we got. Four, three aliens already. Oh my god, that mines. That mines. Look at that. Mine, 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 and mine. So many mines. Marines are pretty much taking back the control of the map with placing another phase gate in double. Cysts just gonna be cleared out. So we might as well see Marines dropping the rest nose there. Weapons 2 are done. Pretty much at the same time the Fader are gonna fix the fields. We might wanna see a fast carapace. Those fades without carapace will not be a match for every any good shotgunner with weapons too. For example, like that gorge is not. But why are you killing gorges? So here we go. Nano grid. You know, when I think about it, what would be really awesome is to have a bile bomb rush. It would pretty much spell disaster. Look at that, just bile bombing the phase gate would pretty much get all the buildings around it. And once that's done, just focus on the CC. And there goes the Lurk. Very nice interception set up by Marines. In case it didn't go down to that shotgun, it would go down to that LMG. And look at that. And it's still Poland still playing 6 minute Onas tactics, dropping that armory to block it off. But considering that the uh, aliens were holding for a big number of Resnels for a long time. Oh, but we see a shift hive. Now I wonder how that is going to be played. Oh, and beacons. What forced the beacon? Oh my god, aliens got subsector. 
chain detonates the mines on C12 phase gate. Marines might want to be getting that subsector to deny the aliens the third hive, as well as getting some advanced tech. <coughs> also, we could see them redrop that topographical RT, as well as the getting the one in Overlook. They could really benefit from the extra res. In the meantime, their Lurk has taken out the Skylights RT. This game is still on even footing. There are fades on the field, but there's no the obvious game finisher, like for example Carapace would be for those fades. Unfortunately, those fades did die. As I said, two level two shotguns. Pretty much any fade without Carapace is an easy kill. No third hive still. Here comes the money scan. Beacon again. <coughs> they lost double. I didn't see the point of that beacon. I did not see a attack on the map. Another lurk goes down. Two stroker on 70 rest might see a PRS on us anytime soon. Marines taken down 12 alien rest nodes. Now that's a good number. And we see system waypointing power go up. Might see a phase gate there. Still no advanced armory or a weapon tree for Marines. They did set up shop and pipeline. Plastic almost dying to a single shotgun shot there <coughs> very good control by Slayer and Germ oh and very very good twitch kill by Slayer two stroker on 72 rest do I smell an onus? Camo on us. Oh my god. Seeing aliens clear out the double was just painful to watch. Oh, germ. No luck there. We finally see an advanced armory, but it might be a bit too late. Still no grenade launcher research or anything like it. Grenade launcher is a very decent weapon to deny those um, camo pushes. And marines smell blood, they want to get this hive down. And two stroker just own us top. So that might be a problem for the marine team. Definitely a problem. Two tons of problem that is, and it's scamoed. Oh, and scans it right there. Look at that marines being pushed out of the hive room. With a single terrifying life form at hand. You want to be getting that arm right now. Nice try by the Skulk. That Onus does not know that this observator observatory is pretty much to deny that camo. He needs to be hitting those marines in the back. But I was just gonna shift to the left flank. 
I mean, it's got the double again, but did not redraw the rest notes. They do have a third hive growing. So that's also nice. Getting a carapace on the Tonus will pretty much be the game ending move. But I do need to drop some rest nodes again. Which they don't. We got another Ronas on the field. Plastic. We got Adrenaline completed. Probably for the Gorge. Oh, the Gorge goes down so fast. <laughs> two stroker gets him in two strokes. Plastic gonna be defending that high. Oh my god, how much how come the Slayer not hit that on us? Oh, he was hitting the cyst. <coughs> I was thinking the random sprays again. Acrobatics. That's interesting. They want to siege it from here. But unfortunately, the acrobatics was placed in the wrong area. Maybe it's up to three rest nodes. Their last hive is done and they need to go for a fast crag hive. And get that carapace. Not expand towards what skylights. And arcs deploy a bit prematurely there. With no scans whatsoever, so that's gonna be another 15 rest loss for Marine Team per arc. And as you can see, there's another arc here. We do see a fast crag hive. No shells dropped as of yet, but I think that modem to hell is on it. Yep. Even dropping two shells, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he dropped a spur, did he? Spur, spur, veil, veil. No shells. Ooh, wild bomb started, now that's gonna be fun. My god, my voice is so sore. I need to get some honey. Look at that plastic not even caring. And he's got it down. So in comes the plastic supported by Skinner. But plastic did not support his gorge friend there. But plastic will get all four kills. Cleaning up the marine team like... A ball clears the pens. <coughs> and two crags to support the hive as well. Oh, we got a sneaky marine trying to set up a phase gate, but look at all the assists. I mean, pretty much a single attack will struck the alert. There's not a single spot you can go for a PG placement and Germ is just looking for it. Look at that. Nothing there, Germ. <coughs> we just got Carapace finished and we got Onas at the base clearing out the power. So everyone got phased back. And the power is down and in the meantime, aliens will be getting that C12. Bile bomb is down as well.
Now we might even see a TRS on us. We do have Mr. P with 78 res, so we can see another player on us, but he's not propping to go there. We got a whole marine team rushing for uh, whole marine team rushing for subsector trying to get that hive done. We should be seeing that on us as well as Skulk pressing for the main base forcing a beacon. And that's exactly what we see guys. They're gonna be pressing for the beacon and if they don't press the beacon now the marines will lose the game. Oh and marines lose the game right there. Not they're gonna even be bothering. Plastic going straight for power node. And unless the marines can clear out those cysts and infestation redrops back in time, they cannot drop another command share and it's gonna be lost game for them. Commander still in chair and NS2 Poland calls out the GG, so hope everyone's enjoyed this game. It's been a very, very good one. Hope you can also like all the NS2 videos you can find the, to promote the game. So visit ensl.org for a team's course. Pretty much you can see the links on the right side. And I hope everyone enjoyed this and see you guys next time.